Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I'm Jarrett New, and today we're going to be talking about my experience crate digging at Chaos Records. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Chaos Records is a cool little independent record shop specializing in punk and ska music in uh, Covina, California. And it's a really cool little place. I had the, um, the opportunity to pop in there and see their records, and that place is really neat. They sell everything from... I saw VHS tapes there, but they also sell uh, records, uh, they sell singles, 45s, they sell t-shirts, uh, stickers, pins, I mean all kinds of stuff. Uh, so if you really like punk rock music or ska music and you, and you find yourself in Covina, California like I did, uh, you should check them out. Now, uh, I didn't know that they specialized in punk and ska music whenever I first uh, went there. Um, but once I, I, you know, I just kind of did a search of what record stores were around and I popped in just kind of on a whim and I went in there and, and sure enough, they have a lot of, I mean, a huge punk selection. So if that's your thing, definitely check them out. I'm not, you know, big into punk music uh, because I guess I haven't heard too much punk music or ska music. There's some people that are like diehard punk and ska fans. Uh, so those people, I would highly recommend you check out uh, this place. But yeah, it was really cool. They had uh, my favorite band, like one of my favorite bands is Nine Inch nails and i saw they had like uh, nine inch nails uh vinyl decals like on their wall of like stickers so that's pretty cool i thought about getting one but i didn't um but they also had a uh, uh you know good rock selection too just like standard across the board rock they had like old school rock um and so i saw that they had some black sabbath records so i was like hmm should i get those but they also had a lot of other good records too they had like um nirvana they had some good nirvana albums i think they had bleach and they also had um uh their their main album god what is the, what is the name of their main album it escapes me oh my god <laughs> anyway they they had nirvana's uh their main album the one with the baby on the cover I, Never mind. That was the name of it. They had Nirvana's main album, Never Mind. I was just like, what? Um, anyway, yeah, that, I was thinking about picking up that one. It was either it was either Nirvana's Never Mind album or it was the uh, uh, the Black Sabbath records. But yet, even still, with Black Sabbath, I was trying to decide: should I get Master of Reality or should I get um, their other record, which was uh, Paranoid? I mean, both of which are just amazing records. The Black Sabbath album that I went with was Master of Reality. Um, I just, I, I've heard Paranoid a couple of times, I mean actually more than a couple of times, several times on uh, on digital, um, but I was just like, you know what, I, I've heard that for a while, it's, I want to listen to something new, something different, so uh, I, went, I went with Master of Reality. The other thing that I got was this uh, 45 record, this is Elvis Presley, and it says, I want you, I need you, I love you. And then on the other side is love me. And it's on gold vinyl. I'm going to also be doing a review of this one. This is actually my first 45 record, my very first single that I picked up. I'm going to be doing another uh, video about my first 45 record, which is this one. After I take it out of the packaging and listen to it, I'm going to be giving you guys my first impressions on what I think about it. I know I'm going to love it. Uh, I'm, I really like Elvis. And... Uh, uh, you know, it's just just really good classic rock music. The other things I picked up from Chaos Records, in addition to the actual records, uh, the 45 and the LP, were uh, three VHS tapes. Single White Female, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, and uh, The Crossing Guard. Now, uh, I haven't told you guys, but I still have a, an old TV. It's like one of those tube TVs, and it plays uh, DVDs on one side and VHS on the other. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I still like buying VHS tapes every now and then. So it's kind of it's kind of fun to be able to buy a movie and own it for just like a buck. And so at Chaos Records, uh, these were only a dollar. So really cool stuff. And this one's actually empty right now because I was just watching this last night. Uh, this is a classic movie that I had not seen. So um, I'm looking forward to finishing it. So anyway, that's, uh, that's everything that I got from Chaos. So... Um, yeah, I had a great time. It was a cool little place. It was kind of an unexpected little stop, but I was uh, I was really happy that I popped in there and saw all the records that they had for sale. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you haven't already, go ahead and join the Vinylized community and hit subscribe. I'm gonna be coming out with uh, new videos every Saturday, so you're not gonna wanna miss those. Uh, and also be sure to find me on Facebook, Twitter, and more. Links are in the description below. Uh, and also, most importantly, 
keep spinning that vinyl. I'll see you next time.